What is up friends? Today I'm going to show you a really cool Chrome extension called Vimium. And with this, you should be able to use Vim key bindings inside of Chrome. So you can navigate, reopen windows, do searches, open new tabs, and all kinds of different stuff using only your keyboard. So see you later mouse. You don't need that thing anymore. Let's check out the Vimium Chrome extension. What I did is I Googled for Vimium Chrome extension and I landed on this page and you can see this is Vimium. I've already installed it, so it just is asking me to remove it, which I'm not going to do. And this version is 167, and it was last updated December 2nd last year, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's jump into GitHub. And here you can see the keyboard shortcuts. And so the most well-known one is to hit F. And F is going to show you all the different things you can do by clicking. So SC... If you see in the top left hand corner, if I do SC, it'll select that and it'll take me back to this page. Some of the other stuff that you can navigate to is with question mark. You can see all of the different keyboard shortcuts and be able to navigate and see all the different options you have in here. Some of the cool stuff that I really like is O, which is opening the Omni bar. From there, you can type in searching for different YouTube videos or things that you've already looked at or new stuff. Uh, what this will do is it'll open inside of your current tab, but if you do capital O, then it'll open it up in a new tab. So let's say, you know, I wanna look at my awesome YouTube channel. So we can do like YouTube, this, and then if you do control J, you can actually go down and see and select all of those different ones. So that's really cool. If I do capital F, then I can do that same opening of a link, but it'll open it up in a new tab. And so if I do capital K, then it will take me between the two, J and K, you know, up and down like you would in a normal Vim environment. So we'll take you between those. You can also do GT and G capital T. So G capital T will go back and then GT will go forward similar to the capital J and the capital K. Use those if you want. Let's say that I wanna close this tab, so I can hit X and that will close it. If I wanna reopen it, then I will do capital X and I am back here. Uh, if I wanna to go to the bottom of a file, similar to how Vim does it, I will do capital G. And if I wanna go back up to the top, GG, all the way back up to the top, which is super awesome. If I wanna scroll down, then I do J. We'll do like a smooth scroll. And then if I wanna go down by half pages, I do D. And if I wanna go up, I hit U or K. Uh, J and K will do the, the little increments and then D and U will do by half pages. So use that to go up and down on pages. You can also search for things. So let's say I wanted to look for the words dark mode. So I do forward slash dark mode. There you go, I see it right there. If I hit enter, then I can do in and capital in just like I would in Vim and go to the next iteration. Let's find a different word that works better. So maybe the word fix. So if I do fix, then I can jump to all the different occurrences and go to them. Now, if I wanna do something whenever I'm finding these, I can go into visual mode. So hit V and you can see in the bottom right, which actually, here, let me turn my camera off here real quick. There you go. Bottom right, you can see that it goes into visual mode. And if I hit J, then you can see I'm selecting things. I can go back, I can hit Y, and that will actually, ooh, here we go. I will have to allow this to happen, uh, which is good. And so in my paste buffer, which is just your like Mac or Windows copy buffer, then you can see I've selected this. If I'm looking at text, then I can go into caret mode by hitting C. From there, you can see I have a little tiny cursor and I can jump by word or I can jump by line. If I go back to V, then I will be in visual mode. And again, I can yank things if I wanted to. Let's say that I've navigated to a new page. And so now I wanna go back so I can do capital H and that will take me back. If I wanted to go up in the URL, so like you can see I'm in GitHub and Phil and Vimium. If I wanted to go up to the author, then I can do a G capital U and that will go all the way up to the root or if I want to go just up one, 
then I could do G U and that'll take me up one level. So there we go. Uh, hopefully this is like an intro into using Vimium and all the cool things that you can do. Uh, things to watch out for are opening PDFs. So things will get trapped with your, your keyboard. Gmail also will kind of eat some keyboard shortcuts. So what you can do is in the extension, you can add different uh, exclude keys so that they don't, those don't get eaten whenever you're trying to navigate on like Gmail or other apps. Keep note of that. If you like videos like this, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Yay, you stayed after. So I'm recording this uh, a few days later after recording that video, after I'm sitting down and editing it. Uh, there's a ton more in that Vimium stuff that I could go over, but hopefully that kind of gives a general idea of kind of all the, the kind of cool shortcuts that could be used for it. Essentially, I'm trying to incorporate Vim in all the applications that I'm actually using day in, day out. So it's just uh, a little fun. I'm having fun with it. Um, if you have stuff that you're into, like with Vim or, or other stuff, definitely share in the comments down below. And hopefully I'll see you again in another Vim video. Uh, I also want to do some other like programming videos for like Kotlin or TypeScript. So if you have interest in those, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.